Yeah, Andrew, Kelly Wells is in his 12th season as the head coach of the U-Pike men's basketball team. He has had 10 20-win seasons in the last 11 years, including a 28-8 run last season, where they advanced to the quarterfinals of the NAIA tournament. But behind the scenes, Coach Wells has been fighting a tough battle. Let's get off to a good day. All right, you had a day off yesterday, so let's make sure we're ready to rock and roll today. Always us. One, two, three. Sometimes you pick your team up, and sometimes your team picks you up, and I rely on them sometimes to have to pick me up a little bit. Going into our, uh, let's go into 40 the first time, just one trip. All right, you're boxing out here, you stay down there, then White will be up. For Kelly Wells, basketball has meant everything to him in his life. Basketball has really provided every opportunity and, and everything that I stand for throughout my life. You know, I became a Christian because of basketball. I met my wife through basketball. She played at Morehead State when I was playing. You know, my kids, you know, are a byproduct of us meeting and, and, and basketball is, some of my earthly goals have been achieved through basketball. I've paid for my education and paid for my wife's education. Uh, my dad was the coach at Morehead State University. I grew up learning to play basketball on a college level. So it really encompasses a lot, but I also, don't want to be remembered as just Kelly Wells, the basketball coach. That would be, I would be, I would be very disappointed if my kids said my dad was just a basketball coach. Wells is much more than a basketball coach, and he's a good one at that. He's a national champion, a husband, and a father, and he's a fighter. For me, when I first started coaching, winning was what I thought about. Like I got up in the morning, I went to bed at night, I stayed up at night, I, I worked the clock to, to every hour I could work it, and I, I don't do that now. You know, I know uh, the imp impact I have on these guys has to be more than basketball, and it better be more than basketball, and we try to make them young men who can grow and stretch their ability to be great husbands and great fathers, and hopefully they never have to encounter the struggles I have but they also see that they can if, if that needs to be the case. His struggle began with a routine athletic physical while he was a student athlete at Moorhead State. We go through those random physicals and you know my urine came back very suspect and they took me in and it wasn't weeks later I had to have a biopsy to kind of uh, officially determine my disease. The diagnosis? Berger's disease, a protein deficiency that leads to kidney failure. 14 years ago he had his first kidney transplant his wife was the donor. Now that first one lasted for 10 years and my disease is very aggressive and it came back and attacked that one. The game plan to life isn't as simple as drawing up a good play. Quit waiting for somebody else to do it, do it. He had a bout with kidney cancer and in what might be the greatest assist of his life, his brother-in-law donated the kidney for his second transplant. As a result from the medications, he lost bone density and even had to have a hip replacement. But that hasn't changed his love for life. Right idea, right idea, we'll get it. All right, here we go. My why changed you know, drastically when I got sick and had my first transplant and I was going to enjoy winning, I was going to enjoy losing, I was going to enjoy every piece of it because you just don't know, you're not guaranteed the next moment. He's doing well right now, but Wells has to have monthly blood work and see his transplant coordinator several times a year. He knows another transplant may very well be in his future, but right now his number eight bears are keeping him busy just the way he likes it. Honestly, um, I, I, I don't know how I would manage it without basketball, to be frank. Like if all I had to think about was the potential of things that could go wrong with my health, there's no future in that for me. All right, good job, good work today. Always us, one, two, three. Always us. Wells and his wife have their own foundation called Wells Tough. And the best way to help people like Coach Wells is to educate yourself on organ donation, give and sign up. You can find more information at kyorgandonor.org. Also a shout out to coaches, his Bears are 12-0 to start the season.